23 Sep 2017 Verizon is already looking ahead to FIBA channel carrier aggregation as it forges ahead with deployment of gigabit LTE technologies. A spokeswoman told Mobile World Live Verizon is planning to use a combination of higher-level MIMO, 256 QAM and carrier aggregation, to hit the gigabit mark on its network. However, she said the number of aggregated channels will depend on the spectrum resources available. Some areas will require a little extra punch from unlicensed airwaves via the use of licensed assisted access lot technology. Everywhere we have three channels of own spectrum, we've aggregated those, the spokeswoman said. We have two channels aggregated everywhere, and the places where we have three bands of spectrum, those are aggregated. So it's really just a matter of where do we want to employ law and aggregate that shared spectrum now. It will absolutely be based on need. There are just some places where law is not needed. It also is very much based on where the spectrum is and what we need to aggregate between our own spectrum and shared spectrum, she continued. The spokeswoman indicated deployments of four carrier aggregation with LA, four times four MIMO and 256 QAM are happening now where they're needed in the network. Rollouts are well underway, she said, but added the fourth quarter will be a big quarter for us to continue deploying those technologies. Verizon already has LTEU, a cousin of LA running in some places on its network, and is upgrading those locations to LA via a software update, the spokeswoman said. Verizon is also looking ahead to five-carrier aggregation and is currently testing the technology in the lab, according to the spokeswoman. For the operator, five-carrier aggregation is a matter of incorporating one more band of shared spectrum in a manner similar to four-carrier aggregation with LA, she said. Hitting a gigabit mark Verizon has completed gigabit LTE tests alongside Ericsson and Qualcomm using both three aggregated channels of own spectrum and four carrier aggregation that utilizes an additional channel of unlicensed spectrum through LA technology. The latter test using four carrier aggregation was conducted in Florida and achieved a peak speed of 953 MBS. The former lab test used three aggregated 20 MHz channels of licensed spectrum to squeak past the gigabit speed mark. Like Verizon, Tmobile was also able to cross the gigabit barrier in lab tests using just three carrier aggregation, four times four MIMO and 256 QAM to hit 1.175 GBS. Those experiments were completed alongside Nokia and Qualcomm using the Finnish vendor's 4.9G network and airscale base station with a test device running on the latter's Snapdragon X20 LTE modem. ATT and Sprint have both also revealed work on four-carrier aggregation. In a July blog post, Sprint CTO John Saw said the operator was preparing for four-carrier aggregation. At Mobile World Congress Americas earlier this month, though, the focus appeared to be more on impending deployments of 64 times 64 massive MIMO. More on that here. Early this summer, ATTVP of RAN and device design Gordon Mansfield indicated the operator was actively testing for carrier aggregation. ATTS 5G evolution plan calls for the operator to implement carrier aggregation in LA technology to hit gigabit speeds by the end of this year.